Good morning and welcome to Dr. Christian Scripted. Today we will be talking about what do we do if we cannot control our acid reflux symptoms with measures such as diet, exercising, and weight loss. Last week, as you know, we talked about non-surgical means of treating and controlling acid reflux symptoms such as diet changes portion control and so on and so forth. Now, not all of us are successful in controlling our acid reflux symptoms without any intervention or any help from a doctor. There are so many reasons for that and we will talk about these reasons as we move on in this acid reflux series. Now, the fundamentals of controlling acid reflux symptoms still remains diet changes, behavioral changes such as portion control, weight loss, timing of eating and so on and so forth. And it goes without saying that whatever method we choose subsequently, there is a need for us to have these fundamentals locked down. Now, once we've done everything we can, to control it on our own and if we still continue to have symptoms that bothers us and interferes with our lives, it's important to see a specialist. Of course, see a primary care doctor, see a gastroenterologist or a gastroenterological surgeon, a GI surgeon that can help. One of the first things we do is we talk about your behaviors and the diet and exercise and weight loss. If there's any excess weight, we recommend that you lose weight. And if all those measures are not enough, then we will add something called a proton pump inhibitor. We all know, uh, we all have heard about different types of them. They're called acid reflux control medications. Now, there's a lot of controversy about these medications and how safe they are. And the debate is still ongoing as to whether these medications can be taken long term. I have to emphasize that most of the societies now recommend short-term use of these medications only. They're not intended for long-term use. Now, but they do help. They, they do help in making our life better. They help in controlling the heartburn that we experience with acid reflux. However, they do nothing to control the actual fluid that is, is, is refluxing back into the esophagus. Now, when we get to a point when we ask ourselves, well, I don't want to take these medications anymore. I've been taking them for years and I'm hearing stories about complications associated with these medications. And I think it's important to understand that you do have options. There are ways in which you can not only get your acid reflux under control, but also stop taking those medications and live a high quality of life. So one of these methods is called a TIF technique. The full name is called a transoral incisionless fundoplication. The device used is called the Esofix Z2. Now, historically we've always felt that the underlying reason for acid reflux is due to a dysfunction at the gastroesophageal valve which is a mechanism, a system of tissue, muscles uh, that lies between the esophagus and the stomach. This tissue or valve controls our swallowing and helps us prevent in reflux. The valves in a normal situation, it's supposed to relax and open up uh, while we swallow food and it's supposed to be somewhat closed when we're not eating to prevent reflux back into the esophagus. When we do experience acid reflux, most commonly there is a dysfunction of the valve. Either the valve is too weak or the valve is positioned in the wrong location. If this is the case, I have to emphasize that medications alone will not control your symptoms. If there is an anatomical 
reason for you to have acid reflux, then you need an anatomical solution. And that's one of the things that TIFF does for us. And I'll show in the following schematics and video what this procedure is all about. The ideal procedure, in my opinion, is a procedure that can allow us to achieve our goal of controlling acid reflux symptoms that is safe to perform, that has minimal or no complication, and it has a fast recovery profile. And all those criteria are met by the TIF procedure. The TIF procedure is a non-surgical means of treating acid reflux that is very durable. It involves an endoscopy. Essentially, the device is loaded on top of an endoscope, which is a very thin camera tube. And while we're sleeping, it's inserted through the mouth into the stomach through the esophagus. While inside the esophagus, the device is then retroflexed and is used to create a valve that is durable and prevent acid reflux. More than 25,000 of these procedures have been done all over the world with no death and no major complications. It, it, this technique is so unique in its safety that I recommend it to almost all of my patients that meet the criteria for TIFF technique. The procedure takes about 45 minutes to do. It's an outpatient procedure and patients go home the same day. The recovery is about five to seven days and we can stop taking acid reflux medications immediately after the procedure. If you have any questions about the TIF procedure, do not hesitate to call me at 678-466-6760 or visit my website at georgiasurgicare.com. Thank you for watching Dr. Chris Scripted. See you next week.